Hey yo, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created these two animations. The first one is a stylized pause moment with more 3D camera movements made in After Effects. And the second one is a scrolling film strip animation done entirely in Premiere Pro. Let's dive into each one step by step and I'll walk you through everything I did and how I did it. We start by creating a new composition in After Effects. I usually go with 1920 to 1080, 30 FPS and around 30 seconds long. Then I import the main video clip and the voiceover, trim the part where the pause should happen. Now let's set up the 3D camera. I create a camera layer first, then a null object, make null 3D and parent the camera to the null. This way I'll only move the null to control the entire camera movement. Once trimmed, I take the last visible frame before the pause and export it as a screenshot. I also download a small pause animation from YouTube, something short and minimal, then remove the green screen in After Effects with the help of key light effect. Then I drag the screenshot and the pause animation into the comp. The pause animation comes just above the screenshot. I select both the pause animation and the screenshot and pre-compose them. This keeps everything tidy and gives me a single layer to animate. Now I keyframe the opacity of the pause animation, starting from 0 and increasing to 100 over 5 frames for a fast, smooth fade in. And here comes the movement. I apply the anticipation principle. Instead of moving the camera back immediately, I first move it slightly closer to the screenshot for about 8 frames by increasing Z position of null. This was the graph. Then we have to move the camera away from the screenshot to make the screenshot look smaller and get other elements present on our plane in frame. We will do it by decreasing the Z position of the null layer. I want the camera to move away until the voiceover says I am pausing it here. After that I create a white solid layer, make it 3D and apply a gradient ramp. As in, change the angle of gradient by tweaking start and end point of gradient ramp. To break the flatness, I added noise to the background and kept these settings. I place this layer far behind the main composition in Z-Space and scale it up so that it covers the frame even when the camera moves to the right for further animations. Add cursor and play icons PNG and make them 3D. Play with their orientation to give a tilted and swiveled look. Position these PNGs in frame in such manner that the focus stays on screenshot, but at the same time not much space is empty on frame. Now to fill the frame further and to add some more sense to the animation, add the text pause and make it 3D. Position it on frame here, adjust its scale and Z position in such a way that when we move camera to the right, the intro screenshot and cursor play icons get out of the frame but the pause text stays in frame. It will appear on the right of the frame when we are at the first pause frame, but when we are at the second idea frame it will appear on the left. This will be achieved by putting text away from camera and scaling it up. Add roughen edges and drop shadow on intro screenshot precomp. Move the camera to the right by changing null layer's position and adding keyframes on it. Change the graph to this. When the camera is moving to the right, we will get a blink effect on the pause text and transition it into the next idea text by trimming and adding blanks in text layer. Do this by trimming pause for a frame two times. Then change the text to idea. We'll add a 3D brain in our comp and position it in the center of the idea frame. We then will animate the brain at the time the camera is moving to the right. At the same time, brain will slide in up from bottom and with the rotation animation. Change this rotation of brain and copy this graph to get this smooth animation. Camera will stop coming towards right and brain will stop coming towards up at the same time. Add another element to fill frame and add rotation to it. When the voiceover mentions, but if you want, we'll move the camera down by changing Y position of null and move it enough that previous elements are no more visible. Now in the new frame, add two YouTube logo PNG, position them and play with their orientation to give a hanging look, like a little twilted and swiveled. Add Gaussian blur to both logos to add depth. Now add the text full intro, make it 3D and position it according to YouTube PNGs in the center of the frame. Add more keyframes and play with the graphs to make the camera animation more dynamic. When the voiceover says check out this video, we will zoom in and get the video screenshot on frame. We will do this by increasing Z position to move camera closer. 
To give a fast animation, we will keep a distance of just 5 frames in between keyframes. Change the graph to get the animation right. When the zoom in is happening, we will get the video's screenshot and frame by a smooth slide in. We'll add keyframes in beginning and move the Y position of screenshot down. Then add another keyframe and get the screenshot in the middle of the frame. And that's how we complete the first animation. Now let's move on to the second one, a film strip scroll animation, made entirely in Premiere Pro. First, I take six different screenshots from my edit, the ones I want to showcase in the scroll. Then I import all six images into the Premiere Pro. Inside the timeline, I create a new sequence and place the six screenshots side by side, scaling them down and adjusting their positions manually using the effect controls, motion, and position. Make sure they're perfectly aligned with no gaps in between. Next, I select all six screenshots and nest them into one sequence. Now I have a clean timeline with a single film strip layer. Then I go to Effect Controls and keyframe the position property, starting from left to right or right to left, depending on how you want to scroll. I stretch the movement over about 6 to 7 seconds for a smooth flow and apply Ease In plus Ease Out. Copy this graph for this animation, then nest the sequence again. Now let's work on the latest nested sequence. Add lens distortion with minus 50 curvature to give the wide FPV look. Add S underscore warp chroma from the Sapphire plugin to give this nice chromatic effect. Add Gaussian blur and create a circle mask to get more focus on the center. Increase blur and feather. Then copy the nested sequence and paste it here to increase the duration of the animation. Reverse the copied sequence for continuity. And that's it! Your dynamic FPV scrolling film strip is ready! So those were the two animations, one crafted in After Effects with 3D camera work and layered storytelling, and the other built right inside Premiere Pro with smart nesting and motion design. If you found this helpful, hit like, drop a comment if you have questions, and subscribe for more editing breakdowns like this one. See you in the next video. Peace!